We'll see how this game goes, as they are now smoked up. Whilst they're doing so, let's get our predictions out of the way. Total blinks at 25. Uh, two? I think that's fair. I don't know. It's either two or three. As oh god, Boxy. Hello, Woo! Mr. Boxy. Very, very dead. Well, who's getting the nice first blood? Shot. They're giving it to GPK. Isn't this the third game in the last two days where we've seen Alina get a first blood in this mid lane? <laughs> yeah. And this is not really... So, the calls will have to come from the bottom lane the moment that Boxy is not in range anymore. As long as he can keep Boxy away from him, he should be fine. And the longer time goes on, the more it does feel like his laning phase gets better and better. Actually catches the LSA onto Mika. We'll force him to retreat pretty deep in. Is he going to chase for this? He is. He's very fire. Oh yep, my he god, got. he gets the kill. Solo kill from GPK in the mid lane onto Mika. That's even better than beating again. him in CS. Now you're farming him. Yep. And again, like you say. Second game in a row. GPK going to go for a little trade here. Make sure he spends his gold. Gonna come back to the lane ASAP when he comes back. This is pretty nice because had he not done this, I think when Mikke comes back here, which of course he will, he will just out CS him for a bit. So. Chaos Bolt for himself. They're trying to get the toss back onto Hakoda. Zai will have skew in another five seconds once again, but Hakoda able to get back in position. So this should be fine. And this is a little bit lower than I'd like to see though, Kezu, if I'm honest. So I'm a bit worried about him. He gets Take himself shockwaved back into the avalanche, and yeah, that's going to lead into a kill. Hakoda also going to die to Boxy, who gets a double kill out of this. That was a little bit forward-facing from Ramses. Didn't, like, leave the lane. There was a he kind of knows that, hmm, they probably have vision here, but he made sure that Delina didn't get the rune. DP coming around mid, trying to help Delina. Oh, middle, Mika. though. She eats no a blade. Laguna Blade. Mika is in some danger. Gets off a Sonic Wave, though, onto two. GPK is suddenly the one that's fallen so low. Boxy comes in with the Avalanche. Who are they tossing back? Insania gets an incredible three-hero dual breath. And they will be able oh, to kill all three boy. of them. A double kill for the Jakuro. Three heroes brought down. Mika is still alive at the end of it. And, of course, the tips start raining. And the mid play before, too. They need to, again, take a deep breath and, you know, get back into this game properly as bottom. Gonna see if they're gonna find a kill for Ramses this time around. As Zai is gonna be the priority target. They don't have the damage just yet. Zai gets slips back. They finally stun him up. GKK will show up, and he's the one that's gonna provide the damage with the Sonic Wave coming in from Mickey. As he's also made a rotation. They haven't even been able to kill Zai just yet. Lasso going out onto Matumba Man. Mickey getting zoned back by GPK. GPK won't be allowed to get the kill because the infest from Matu ensures that Mickey has the HP. And now Boxy looking towards DM deeper in the lane. They've caught him, they've surrounded him, they've corralled him, and they're certainly going to kill him. And when DM falls, he's going to be giving away another kill towards the side of Team Liquid. On the bright side, though, Ramses and Yamish were able to chase Mike all the way towards the tier 1 tower in the mid lane. And there they will eventually... I feel like their first moves are... Perhaps they're not well set up. It's a bit too reactionary or they're trying a little too hard to force it ag aggressively as DM. It's just gonna walk it off if it's Fire Flash or not. Even going aggressively on Pensania. Okay, this is a... Uh, a bit much. Pensania should end up dying here, but I'm not sure if this was worth it because there's no way DM gets out of this one himself. Will end up dead. Mike. Not going to take the chance with these creeps. We'll just throw in the Sonic Wave. And that's going to be a kill yeah, onto DM. Can, and they smoke immediately. Can They're going to try and get a kill on Matu. It could catch him off guard, especially with this pause. And then later, it's going to be a lot about DM to find good lassos in this game. That is how they need to start their fights. Finally get the on pause now. Uh, RP. Zai. Ooh, Zai catching two heroes with the RP. Are you kidding me? Zai! It's only a game, my friend. Snowball attempt for Yamish to try and stay alive. And the attempt will be denied by Zai again. Him and the crew end up getting that kill as well. The lack of hesitation from the Zai Magnus has just Top been... lane is where the next side of play seems like it's going to be. VP want to make a go for this. Team Liquid are sort of positioned to defend this, but they don't have access to the RP. Uh, do they want to try for this? DM has his own Tumblr toy, able to get forward. Finding Storm. Zai, Static Storm will be there. Matu TP into infest. it. But yet again, the Infest plays come in. Not going to be able to keep him alive, but it will spend a lot of time with GPK trying to kill the Magnus. So he's not prepared for that counter play coming in from Team Liquid. Zai trades his life for the opposing mid laner. But as you've mentioned so many times, when you play Lina mid, Lina's the actual carry. So you've taken down their core. They're coming middle as well. They really want to dram these. They don't get you in time. But what a play! In the top side of the map, mid lane. The one to get caught instead will be Yamich, giving a killing spree towards Mike. 
It feels like Team Liquid are everywhere here, Kezu. How on earth are VP allowed to play Dota? I mean, Liquid are just too fast. Even now, look on Ramsey. He's getting slowed uh, by the Witchblade and the uh, Lance of Pursuit. And he just, yeah, he's, he's just dead. dead. Yep. That's another one. Wow. Okay. All right. Uh, well, I guess to go back to the tier one top tower, it's a, a bit of a similar story without any blinks. Now they have two of them with an wow. infested, empowered, armlet desolator nakes at 16 minutes into the game. Let's go, Team Liquid playing some fair Dota. They're gonna Who's get gonna GPK. GPK is the one. He gets over BKB though. Glimpse back. Matu. Here comes Zai jumping in. RP and Matu. They kill him through the BKB, Kezu. It doesn't matter to them. And now Ramsey's doing his best to try and run away. Sonic Wave pushes him back into the ice path, in fact. And they'll be able to isolate him away from his illusions. Kill him as well. Boxy is the one credited with that one. And that's gonna be a tier 2 tower falling shortly thereafter. Kezu, this is this is the game. If you just do nothing, Liquid will take this role. So taking a risk here to try and take it away from them, this is huge. Yeah. But I get away with it. Looks like they'll at least get the Aegis. Whether they'll get away with it, I don't know. They will still take fight, the fight. Fight will happen. Boxy looking like he wants to go in, able to get in onto the disruptor. In the meantime, RP went onto the Bat Rider. Sonic Wave does come across three heroes. There is a lasso onto the Matumba Man Lifestealer and GPK He's turns dead. onto him with the BKB and they are able to kill him. Ramsey is armlet toggling to victory as they are able to kill Zai. Ramsey does end up taking a tumble. GPK's first life is taken. Now they are trying to surround the stragglers in this fight. Yamich, he gets taken out as well. Glimpse back from Insania right next to her coda. The ice Boxy block a new combo will soon. not help to protect him and they will be able to kill him. Boxy does have access to this new combo. He utilizes it to hold GPK in position, letting Mike get the cleanup. And now the only hero left to flee is Hakoda. He's been abandoned by DM. Mike gets a double kill. Another massive teamfight victory for Team Liquid. Yes, it does cost them the life of Zai, the life of the Matumba. You guys don't get five man RP. So when they storm on top of Nick so that Zai cannot counterplay. We will see them trying to reveal said Blink Dagger right now. As you said, they want to try and make this uh, play as soon as humanly possible. They are going to jump onto the Jakiro. Nice Hakoda Static Storm here, allowing them to kill Insania first. However, Ramsey's oh, is no. very low. DM does get a lasso, but it's not going to help them too much. as They have now lost Hakoda. Ramsey's playing 1v1 versus Matumba Man as GPK ends up losing his life towards Mikke on the back end of the fight. And Team Liquid, despite them being the ones that are surprised by this one, they just have too much damage. These heroes die too quickly. They, they clean up Boxy. Uh, they clean up damage with Boxy. Once again, I really love Zai's itemization. He's been playing very well these past days as well, from what I can see. He's DM. has a BKB. Bottom, he might be forced to use it. Uh, he does have BKB TP. He can still die here. Woo! Fortunately for him, they've already committed the Sonic Wave earlier on. Yamich won't be as lucky, though, as he ends up dying here in this mid lane. Hakoda did get a glimpse back onto Zai. Zai does throw out the RP. There's going to be a Chaos Ball being thrown in. Another save coming in from Matu, but it's not going to be good enough. GPK there with the Jesso hits, and they're finally able to bring down Zai. Buyback was there from oh, Yamich. The so they want to chase forward. Glimmer Cape oh, was supposed to protect Matu, but they still have the vision. They glimpse him back into the LSA. Do they have the damage nice to kill static. him? Yes, they do. He's supposed to buy a BKP, in fact. Insania drops an Ice Path to try and protect his allies, as Boxy really wants Ramsey's. Gonna he get Ramsey's! So even though he dies, it's like, well worth it at the end of the day. Insania also about to take a tumble. But getting Ramsey's out of this, you have lost four. Awkward place to be for the side of Team Liquid. But even when VP, uh, things are going right for them. Yeah, I'm not running away. I'm going to run into you and I'm going to take Ramsey's with me into the grave. Yeah. I actually can't believe what a big brain play that was to pull that off. And now he's actually going top again. Boxy bringing in another passenger. Matu doesn't have a basher though. However, this BKB will not last forever. GPK needs to get out of this. He's been tossed back. He's been killed. Boxy is just on it today. As Matu able to trump down Yamich through his BKB. Thank you very much for buying the item, he thinks to himself. This is... Wow. Okay. This is very, very disheartening. That they can just jump you at any time. And now they've also jumped Ramses. He doesn't have his BKB just yet. He's a hundred gold he shy of getting this, Kezu. But now he's been reset even further away. That is just the saddest thing ever. Ramsey's having a very rough day at the office. That's his eighth death this game. And That's Zach mid looking for a glimpse onto Boxy. Okay, they get him, but I don't know about this Ooh. one. Nice static storm. 
preventing Zai from throwing out the RP. And they should be able to kill him here unless Matu will be able to save him infest. through his own BKB. And indeed he does with the infest play. Suddenly Ramses has to turn around and run. They're able to chop down Hakoda. Ramses, can he juke Matu? No, he cannot. Here, deeper into the fight, DM also has his BKB trying to TP himself away. But this time around, they have the Sonic Wave and they will not allow him to escape. Yamich, nice snowball blink play deeper into the river. But Insania is there. Tumblr's way usage allows him to dodge the dual breath. So he's still alive for now. They pop drums though. They really want this kill. They will be able to find this chase. Boxy's on him with Mickey. And they give him a beyond godlike streak on the Queen of Pain. 11, 2, and 13 here in game number two. And with four heroes dead, nothing will stop Team Lip. Oh, that's two lanes. Gone. VP. This is it. Uh, you, how many times have you seen this in your life, Kezu? This here smoke. The one that if it fails, you call GG. They know us. It's, uh, it's the pub smoke. The go smoke one time, then let in. Let's see, they end up losing Yamich first and foremost. Matu pops out, chomps down Hakoda, and now they turn their attention back onto Ramses. He pops the BKB, but to what avail? Even Mike's right clicks are just way too much for him right now. And as he dies, north of the fight, we do see Zai. At the very least, he will fall to the right click damage of GPK. But now GPK no longer has a BKB, no longer has a life, and VP no longer have a say in this game as they call GG, throw in the towel, and grant Team Liquid the 2-0 victory and Grand Team Liquid, the number one start in group number B. Damn, Liquid are like what, 8 and 2 now? They look phenomenal <laughs> in every game that I see them. They just play really well. Their picks are on point, item builds. I feel like I'm just repeating myself, but they just make enemy teams look uh, 